may have seen the rather worrying headlines of late about rats the size of cats. So are mutant rats really on their way? So here to tell us about all things pests, our property expert Louisa Fletcher and pest controller Ricky Clark. Ricky, first of all, mm. mutant rats really? Are we just being a little bit uh, hysterical? A little bit, but the size of the rats have increased over the last two years. <laughs> These mild winters and availability of food source have been, been growing. So how just... big can a rat mm. get? That's a very big rat. See, that uh, just looks like a I mean, I have to say, mm. I wasn't looking forward to this, but he's quite cute. He is quite yeah. cute, actually, yeah. in a tank, but if you saw him in your bed... Um, no, I wouldn't like him think, in my uh, bed, no. You'd think twice about it. <laughs> so yeah. so that, that, is, that is bigger than the average rat, is it? That is, yes. That, okay. is, a, that is a big but rat. But he's not and the size of a cat, though. No, but we have had bigger. That oh, is a right. big rat. But, okay. again, it's all depends on the availability of a food mm. source. And are they dangerous? They are. They carry 40 different diseases, so that's something you must take very seriously mm. in respect of rats, particularly in the home. OK, and is it true, oh, God, you hear this when you're growing up, that if you corner a rat, it will jump and get on your neck? Yeah, but it's not them attacking you, that's just an only escape route, so you might right. see the light behind your shoulder, and I've had that, and they've, and they've run over, oh, so gosh, that'd okay. be too concerned. So they don't, they don't jump from your, for, for your neck? No, but they have bitten <clears throat> people in the past. Yeah. 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 And, okay. um, and so the, the, the numbers are... Oh, look, it's lying down now, it's the most casual <laughs> rat I've ever seen. <laughs> But he's a showbiz rat, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, we called his agent this morning. <laughs> so, um, so they're on, on the increase, yeah, is, that yeah. a, is that a worrying increase? Is this a right across the country? It, it seems to be pertaining to the cities. Obviously, the amount of building works that are going on, mm. you know, basins being dug up, extensions, all pushing on rats into people's homes, mm. and obviously the wilder, wilder temperatures, you know, the winter. And yeah. apart from obviously physically seeing one, how do you know your home might have rats? They do not get away with it. Mice, they can be out the corner of the eye, they live in the cavity walls, whereas rats are a big animal. You may just find a half-eaten apple on the floor, you see them scutting across, you hear squeaking or scrabbling around. They don't get away with it for long. What do you do if you've got rats in your house? Mm. Better to prevent them than start curing them, as Ricky will say. It's all about gap filling. Right. So rats and mice can get through incredibly small gaps that you wouldn't think they could. Generally, I'll show you actually, a bit of a prop here. A rat can get through, a juvenile rat can get through a size about oh the size of a 5p. So, so yeah. probably not that one, obviously. Um, and a mouse can get through that or smaller. Mm. So it's really thinking about, they're going to be coming in from outside, so it's looking for gaps in brickwork. It's looking for if you have ventilation, then obviously you want to be putting mesh in where the aircon would be, or from your kitchen ventilation, extractor fan, things like that. And really looking at gaps in general. So when you've got pipe work coming in, you might have a gap around it, best to be filling it. And I'm assuming that you've got to be very careful that you don't entice them in in the first place. So keeping your bins covered up, keeping your food put away. Of course, things like that, yes, are very important. But remember, rat can chew through quite a lot of Everything. stuff. So he can get through... Uh, Fatty, for example, would be able to get through breeze blocks, certain type of... Brick. Breeze blocks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, metal. They're very, rats in particular um, are very good at sort of chewing through pipes, so things like water pipes and gas pipes. A rat will chew through that. So, again, these are the sort of things you really need to be very careful of if you find one. There. Okay teeth never stop growing, do they? That's so they correct. have to gnaw. That's correct, and it's also the hardest organic substance on the planet. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. And so, uh, so they can gnaw through metal. Yes. Yes. If you have an infestation, how do you get rid of them? It's about identifying their access into the property, as was identified. You know, a lot of rats come up from the sewer system, so it's imperative a CCTV investigation is undertaken. These are apocryphal stories about rats coming up from the toilets. The toilets, yes. Have a direct correlation with the drainage. So CCTV investigations is so important as part of pest control prevention, particularly when it comes to rats. And do we imagine if we are sort of warming up and if there is a lot more food available, then the bat rats would get bigger? They are. And I've, <laughs> I've seen oh them getting goodness. bigger. Yeah. And then how do you... Do you have to destroy them completely? Uh, unfortunately so, yes. Mm. Yeah. But let's move on to mice, because I think probably what people don't realise is how many house fires mice actually yes. cause. That's right. So, that. according to some recent research, mm. apparently as, m as much as 25% of all house fires can be caused by... Um, mice chewing through electrical wiring. So again, I mean, they are cute. I know that these are uh, house mice, actually, or pet house mice. But again, they can cause untold damage, which is really serious. It's mm. not just a little nibble here or there. Um, they do really like, obviously, to chew furniture, paper, things like that. So that's where you find them in attics, because where you store stuff, yeah. and that's where they like to make their nests. So, and the droppings as well. Average little mouse, so he can create up to 80 poos a day. <sighs> Right. And that's got a lot so of bugs quite and nasty things to look it. out for. Yeah. And if you if you don't destroy them completely, but you have kind traps to catch them, 
how do you how far away do you have to go? I mean, can they are they like sat nav mice? Can they get back to where they were? They can in some respect, but it's not Tom and Jerry, it's always a family of mice, an adult right. mouth, two or three females, four or five teenagers, their babies, and a twenty one day gestation period. So it's not about trapping or catching an individual mouse, it's about population control. Right. And uh, how do you um, how do you prevent them from causing you a problem? Again, it, as it's we were gaps. saying with, with rats, it's all about gaps. So it, it creaks in um, gaps in floorboards, ga any gaps anywhere in the house, these little guys are going to get through it. So again, it's just about being vigilant, thinking about where your cabling comes in again, yeah. filling it. Do those sonic mouse traps, but not, not mouse traps, but uh, mouse deterrents work? No, they seem to be a bit of a gimmick and then mass produced what and dropped sonic? over here. It, it's a high pitched noise that you can't hear, but it's supposed to keep, keep the rats, away, oh. uh, rats and mice yeah, But away. if you've got a sonic here and it's an above, above level, it won't work down the ground floor area. I've never found them to work personally. Even on the ground floor, yeah. you haven't found them no, to work? No. And is And so, as, as far as you're concerned, as, a, as pest control, mm -hmm. is it just mouse traps? No, we use the rodenticide, a professional poison that mice will ingest and go back to the nests to die. So it negates issues with smells, maggots and flies that you may have with trapping as well. We have to look at the bigger picture. It's not about trapping an individual. It's about population control, excluding external influences, how they made their way into the property in the first place. Okay. Um, these look very big for... for are, are, these, are these British cockroaches? No. 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 I was going to say. <laughs> like, what, yeah, the ones that Anton Decker brought. Yeah, especially for telly, yeah. yeah. And domestic cockroaches, the, cockroaches you find in this country are a bit smaller. Um, now, these guys, in terms of your property, they eat wallpaper. That's what they really like, wallpaper. So if they get in your house, stripping, staining wallpaper, and they smell. 10% oh, of houses God. have got cockroaches. Yeah. Oh, how, quite, do you, how do you big... get rid of them? You have to do a monitoring process because cockroaches are primarily nocturnal. They can get away with that without you realising it. So time that's putting some monitoring traps down, going in in the morning at two in the morning in the kitchen to see if you're seeing them on the walls and stuff like and that. And if you do see them, what do you do? You need professional help with cockroaches. They're such an invasive species. They do not respect human boundary and the territory will be certainly encompassed not only your property but that of your neighbours as well. They're so. almost indestructible as well. They, yeah. Are. Yeah. they, they are. would live through a nuclear bomb. They would. They? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, think I think someone said it once. I don't know if it's apocryphal or, 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 or not, but. Uh, they said that uh, you know if there was ever a sort of a nuclear holocaust, anything that'd be left with a cockroach. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> awful. And the Gloria Hunnifer's hair. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, bless. Thank you. Very much.